Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to demonstrate XML serialization capabilities in C Sharp. XML serialization is a process of converting C Sharp object state into XML format that can be used by third party applications to uh, later uh, read the data and uh, store uh, the object state as it is at the time of serialization. So what the what is the class we are going to use in xml uh, serialization uh, it's xml serializer it's available in system.xml.serialization namespace what are the main conditions that involves uh, this class only the public uh, properties and fields are going to be serialized by default and we need to have a default constructor in the class that we are going to serialize otherwise uh, it will throw an error the read only properties uh, are not going to get serialized right? that is the private properties are just ignored in serialization so we have a form which we came up with uh, for uh, regular expression video so we are going to reuse the same form for uh, xml serialization demonstration so we have uh, these fields name phone email dob username we are going to add serialization functionality to this register button so once we enter the valid name here uh, valid stuff uh, over the fields we are going to click on register and uh, serialize the data to a xml format a separate file okay the first thing we are going to do is to declare a class so let's go ahead and do that since this is user detail I'm going to name the class as user so user make this public and we are going to enter uh, each and every field as a separate property or a field in that class so name phone number email dob and username so five fields in this user class so let's let me fast forward this So we have created a class user and I'm not going to complicate it with different data types. We are having everything as string and uh, for every field here we have a field in this class or a property in this class. So the next thing we are going to do is to write the serializer and uh, deserializer method within the class itself. So let's go ahead and add that public static void serialize and the argument it going to take is file name yes let's use the class like xml serializer So let's create an object of XML serializer and it's available in the namespace system XML serialization. Uh, yeah, system XML serialization. Let's add this here. So the argument we have to give to this XML serializer is the type of this particular class. So what's the type? We can use type of so it's a built-in thing. Uh, so type of this class. So user. So we have initialized serializer object and uh, we are going to serialize this particular uh, instance I think we don't need the static stuff
so we are going to write this to an XML file so we we are going to write this to an XML file we are going to use test writer to do that so using test writer this is going to take the file name as argument let's put this at symbol to get rid of any errors that might come at runtime because of slash so let's include the namespace system.io so the reason we are using uh, this using statement is that we don't need to uh, close this writer object when we are done with the serialization part so let's complete the serialization it's just to call the serialize method with this writer the serialize method takes two arguments one is the writer and other is the object we are going to serialize so let's add this writer as first argument and the next thing is the object what are we going to serialize we are going to serialize the object with which this serialize method is called so let's add this and we are done with serialization let's see this in action let's add the stuff here the user is registered now let's create a user object and i am going to set each and every field to the property of the user object let me fast forward this So we have initialized the user object with the required details from uh, the form. Now we are going to serialize it. Let me give it just a default path. Uh, I will say user saved dot XML. So this will uh, save uh, all the details of the user to this file in the location in which the executable is running I think we are done with this let's see it in action so let's fill in the details first Suraj Gupta and let me give some phone numbers okay let's give some email id some date of birth Okay, so we have filled in all the fields and let's click on register. Suraj is registered and it seems we don't have any runtime exceptions. So I am expecting to see a certain, field, certain file in that folder. Okay, let's uh, open the project folder and go to bin debug. Yeah. We have this XML file here. Let's open it in Notepad. So, what we entered in this form is saved in this file. The class name is user, so we will have the root tag as user, and all the fee properties will be saved as child of user. 
and the details we entered will be the part of uh, text part of uh, each of the tags so serialization part is complete and let me demonstrate one thing and one thing first I have said that the private uh, properties will be ignored let's add a method to set this private value Even though I have uh, populated the user ID some with some values, since this is a private property, we won't see anything in this file. Uh, let me run this. Let me fill everything. Okay, now the file should be modified, but we won't see the new field in this file. Reason is it's private. So let's move on with the deserialization. So we are going to add another button here, which will say load. Let us add the deserialize method to this class, user class. So let's add the method here, public void deserialize. I think the return type should be user instead of void. And the input it's going to take is the file name. So we are going to use the same class here. Let me just copy paste it. Who cares? And the next thing we are going to use is a reader or a, any stream would do. So I'm going to use file stream. And uh, let me give an art symbol and the file name here so that the file will be open in the stream let me specify the file mode here it should be open then we are going to use the deserialize method in the serializer object Pass in the stream here. So this deserialize method will uh, return object without a type. It's a generic thing. So let's ca cast it first, which is user. We just cast the object that is written by the deserialize method to user and uh, return it. Yeah no errors now let's add the code to load method load button i want to use this without an instance so i will make this static and here i'm going to add user to avoid confusion okay so let's add an instance here and uh, then just uh, use user class dot deserialize user saved the way we have written it uh, it should uh, deserialize successfully and put the object state right back to the user variable 
once this is done uh, the next thing is simple we are going to just reverse this uh, yeah uh, let me fast forward this process now it's time to see deserialization in action low let me start this and let me load this yeah it works just fine let me change the details here okay it's protected i can't do that let me close this and do it yeah it works perfectly so to summarize in this video we have added a new class here to represent the states in the form we have added uh, properties for each of the fields in this form and we are saving it as a string and then we have added a series method which you makes use of xml serializer and uh, converts the object state of user in the program to a xml file we were using a text writer to achieve xml writing and uh, we have added another method called a deserialize which would use that particular uh, serialized file and uh, opens it into a stream and then converts uh, the file information into a c shop user object which can be used and displayed in this fields as well using load that's it for this video we have uh, seen xml serialization and deserialization in c shop uh, in a short demo i will come back to you guys with another video like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thank you.